Now in the next question 142 which is based on thermodynamics and that to indicator diagram that is PV diagram has been given a very common question anywhere you can find in our packages. A gas is taken through the cycle ABCA you can see here it is a clockwise cycle so naturally the work done will be positive as shown what is the net work done by the gas you see. So if it is a clockwise cycle work done will be positive and it is simply the area under the cycle that you have to talk about. So if you look at the solution of this thing here it is work done this is area under this cycle since it is a clockwise cycle so work done is positive and here the cyclic process you can see here it is in the form of a triangle. So this is half into perpendicular perpendicular you see it is 6 minus 2 that is 4 and into 10 to the power 5 Pascal. So this is 4 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal that is Newton per meter square into base base is from 7 minus 2 that is 5 into 10 per minus 3 5 into 10 per minus 3 meter cube. So all of them are exactly you can say the SI units in total you have here 2 into 5 into 10 to the power 2 here you see 4 by 2 that is 2 into this 5 and overall power if you see that is 10 to the power 5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 that is 10 to the power 2 so ultimately it becomes 1000 joule and for that matter the most appropriate answer will be the first one I am marking here for this particular question. Now let us look at question number 143. In the next question 143 which is based on a coil rotating in a magnetic field and you can say this is the basics of generating an alternating current. Here it says that a wire loop is rotated in a magnetic field. Now what is the effect of that? That is a kind of you can say alternating current generation and the frequency of the change of direction of the induced EMF. Now see when you are trying to answer this particular question just plot how an EMF will be generated. You can see the EMF is generated something like this over time. Now one cycle can be counted from anywhere. You see let us suppose I am marking this as my cycle from this place to this place whatever changes are taking place that is my complete one cycle. Here you can see for this much time the EMF has one particular direction if I am calling it plus in lower half again it is minus. So it is changing direction once and as you are moving on again from minus to plus. So again the direction of EMF is changed. Here the question is reading the frequency of change of direction of the induced EMF is. So you can see it is twice per revolution. This is the answer you should mark over a cycle you have clearly seen the EMF is changing direction twice. Now look at next question that is question 144. In the next question 144 which is related to a projectile motion it says the velocity of a projectile at the initial point A initial point A is marked here is 2i plus 3j that means the component of velocity at this particular point has been given to you 2i that is i component and 3j is y component its velocity in meter per second at point B so this is the point where you are expected to find out the velocity now you see at this point the i component remains unchanged it is only the y component that completely reverses its direction. So here in case you had 2i at this point so that will remain as it is if you are talking about solution of this particular question then you see the x component of velocity will not be changing that is 2i but the y component of velocity that will be completely reverting its direction so 3j will become minus 3j at the point of b so this is minus 3j and for that matter you should look for the answer 2 option 2 will be the most appropriate answer for this particular question. Let us look at question number 145.
Now, in the next question 145, which is based on the mechanical properties of solids, that is elasticity, is completely formula based questions in which they are asking you the following four wires, these are the four options which have been given to you, are made of the same material. That means the Young's modulus of elasticity will be same for all of them. Which of these will have the largest extension, delta L? You understand? Extension means delta L, they will be talking about when the same tension is applied. So, if you go to the basic formula that is Young's modulus, this is F upon A upon delta L by L. Now, if you want the extension, so that is F L by A Y, they are saying under same tension that means force is same and same material that means the Young's modulus of elasticity also same. So, if you want delta L dependence, you can see this is L and area is what? Area is you can say pi d square by 4 and rest of the quantities F and Y are like this. So, it is ultimately this L by d square on which you have to look for the dependence. If you want delta L to be maximum, that means from the options you have to see that L by d square should be maximum because in the options they have given you see diameter and length. So, you will find that most appropriate option is fourth one because only for this particular option you will find that L by d square value is maximum. So, fourth option is the most appropriate for this particular question 145. Now, let us look at question 146. In the next question 146 which is based on current electricity and that two physical properties of resistance in which you find that the resistors are dependent on geometry. It says that a wire of resistance 4 ohm, you can clearly understand that this wire is of a uniform cross section. 4 ohm is stretched to twice its original length. Now, the resistance of the stressed wire would be to understand this particular question, you go by the basic expression resistance is rho L by A. When you are stretching or compressing the wire, the resistivity of the wire is not getting changed. When you are stretching it, it says that its uh, length is getting doubled, is not it? So, this particular factor is getting doubled and in this kind of question, you have to also assume that the entire volume of the wire will remaining constant. So, in case the length is getting doubled, you also have to assume that the area is becoming half. You understand? This is a very usual question you can find anywhere in our package so long as current electricity is concerned. So, here length is getting doubled and area is getting halved. So, it has double effect. You can say R dash that is like this. So, here you see that new resistance that becomes four times the original resistance. So, whatever was the original resistance, say the original resistance was 4 ohm and 4 times 4 ohm that makes it 16 ohm. So, the most appropriate answer for this particular question will be 16 ohm. You understand? Now, let us look at question number 147. Now, in next question that is 147, which is based on the topic heat transfer. Here you see this is completely a topic based on black body radiation spectrum which you see. It says that a piece of iron is heated in a flame. It first becomes dull red that means you see the heat the temperature is getting correlated to color. Dull red then becomes reddish yellow and finally turns to white hot. That means it is trying to explain that as the temperature of the substance is getting changed its color is also getting changed. Now the correct explanation for the above observation is possible by using the most appropriate answer here will be Vn's displacement law because you see in this law you are relating the wavelength of radiation emitted with the temperature. If you talk about Vn's displacement law it says that lambda m into temperature that is remaining constant. So, as you are increasing the temperature of the substance its color is getting changed because color here is correlated with wavelength. If you talk about other options, then you see if you have Kirchhoff's law for the case of heat transfer, it says that good absorbers are good emitters. So, that is not the kind of thing which has been asked in this particular question. If you talk about Newton's law of cooling, then it says that rate of cooling is directly proportional to the excess temperature of the body. Here also 
it is uh, exponential decay of cooling. So, that is not the base of the question and in Stephen's law which is for the kind of thing that radiation is directly proportional to fourth power of temperature. So, here you see the most appropriate law which is explaining the statement here that is V n's displacement law. Now, let us look at question number 148. Now, in this question 148 which is based on system of particles and rotational motion it is saying that a small object of uniform density rolls up a curved surface with an initial velocity v. It reaches up to a maximum height 3 v square by 4 g with respect to the initial position. Now, the object is that means you have to identify the object. Whenever you have to identify the object it is always good that you get the expression for the moment of inertia of that particular object. Here in this particular situation we are interested in doing the energy balance. If you do the energy balance you see first the body is rolling that means it is having the translational kinetic energy plus the rotational kinetic energy. This is the total kinetic energy it is having in the beginning which is finally getting converted into the potential energy. So, here you will say this is getting converted into potential energy. Now, this h value has been given to be 3 v square by 4 g. Here what you can do? This is written as it is. I have to get the value of this moment of inertia. Instead of omega, I am writing v square by r square because it is a case of pure rolling and this is m g and instead of h, you simply substitute this value of 3 v square by 4 g. You understand? So, you have just balanced the energy. If you solve it, you will get I as m r square by 2, which is the expression for disk. So, most appropriate option here will be disk. Now, let us look at next question that is question 149. 